Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Daniel Galarraga, and today I'll be talking a little bit about the app I created, which is called Math Minds. So um, I believe that an app that provides tutorials on vectors and mathematical induction would be extremely helpful because people generally struggle with these areas. Um, vectors are consistently used in mathematics and physics. While mathematical induction is a very abstract area of mathematics, the students normally do not learn about. So this is the reason why I decided to create such an app. I wanted people to truly get a deeper meaning, uh, truly get a, a better understanding of both of these concepts. So now I'm going to uh, show some of my code. So as we can see here, um, this specific part is here we are starting the list picker which um, opens up to the various options um, this specific block demonstrates every single title of each section related to vectors and the one on top is um, demonstrates the links which take the user to specific videos that demonstrate how to solve certain vector related problems. So uh, before I talk about some of the difficulties and improvements that I would make to this app, I'd like to show how the app actually works. So for example, if the user were to, were to um, launch the app, and would like to learn more about vectors, he would solely click on the button of vectors and choose the topic. So let's say, for example, the user would like to learn more about the vector product or the cross product of two vectors. Then the user would click on the, on the option and then a video, related to, uh, a video tutorial related to this concept would pop up and the user would be able to learn how to actually um, handle problems related to this um, related to this well related to this concept and so as you saw um, once I clicked on the link the link sent the user to a specific video and the user would solely watch this tutorial so now I'd like to talk about some of the difficulties that I faced while programming this app. In my opinion, the greatest difficulty that I faced while programming this was understanding how to create a list. Since this was my first pro my, this was, since this was my first time using a program like App Inventor, I was not too sure on some of its components. I first attempted to solely use a list picker. This, however, sadly did not work as the list would not show up whenever one clicked the specified button. I also did not know how I could make the application send users directly to the video lesson that they desired to view. I was quite unsure of how to handle this because I solely thought that one could simply input a link. As I discovered soon after though, it is much more complicated. This made me search for app invented tutorials on YouTube. I was luckily able to find a video that demonstrated that the only possible way to reach my goal was by using an activity starter. Um, using this in my application allowed me to, allowed the list picker to function properly as it successfully displayed the correct options whenever the specified button was clicked. This brought me a great feeling of joy and it is what led to my discovery of how to input links into my app. Due to this, whenever a specific topic related to vectors was selected, for example, the application would immediately send the user to the correct video lesson. In my opinion, if I had not decided to research way to, ways to fix my problem, I would not have been able to even make my application a reality. Um, and lastly, I think that the major improvement that, could have, that I could have made uh, to this app was included videos of myself. I think that this would have made the app a lot more authentic and it would have shown people the way I learned certain concepts that some that could be considered faster or easier methods. Um, well, uh, I'd like to end by thanking um, the uh, Miss 
the Congressional App Challenge by giving me this opportunity. And um, thank you very much.